Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, depending on what time you're watching this, what part of the world you're in. This is Chris again, the Watch Zones, coming to you with another unboxing review. Today's unboxing review is, as the title states, this is the Richard Legrand. This is the Ocean Fair. Now, this is a sponsored video, as they did send in the channel. They were not, they were kind enough to send this into the channel and let it in and let me keep the watch in question. Now, I, I had messaged them a while back about the new Odyssey, but unfortunately, they didn't have any review pieces out for it because, as you know, those are in pre-order right now. If you look back in my archives, you will notice that I had actually reviewed the original Odyssey that they have now. So I was interested to see this Ocean Fair as well, as I do know the original Richard Legrand that I looked at, and I did a giveaway with that one. Um, it was really great quality, guys, especially for the price that it comes in at. And it seems like Richard Legrand, each time they build a watch, they, they do it a little bit better with wristwatch tech. I am indeed wearing the Islander. I just switched off to this. I just got off work, guys, and I was wearing actually wearing the said Richard Legrand, as this is kind of a faux unboxing. I've kind of had it in my position for a little while, but as I mentioned, I'm a little bit behind in videos, guys. I apologize for that, as I've been busy with work and personal life and everything else. But again, catching up to speed with the videos. And like I said, they were kind enough to let me keep this. I, I believe, I don't think I'm actually going to do a giveaway. Oh, they are. Came back. I don't think I'm actually going to do a giveaway with this one, guys. I think I may keep this one in the collection for a little while. This one is a really killer piece, especially for the price. And for what you pay for when you get it, you, you, you'll see the, the quality of this brand. And again, it's, it's not going to, you know, take away from my views. I will say what I don't like about it or what I, what I do like about it as well. As you know, even though this is a sponsored video, guys, I just got to let you guys know, of course. And, and I'm always transparent in my videos. So, but again, like I said, they were kind enough to lend this one in. Hopefully, I'll get to take a look at that new Odyssey at some point. Definitely interested to check it out. As I did mention, they do seem to get better with each watch. But we'll go to the desktop and I'll show you the watch in question. Okay, guys, here is the box that it came in. Of course, I, I had uh, opened it already and I put it back in the box just to show you guys the unboxing on this. Nothing too crazy. A little standard cardboard box. So nothing nothing too crazy there. Of course, they uh, put this little nice little foam in here. Kind of keep it packaged pretty well. Now, the inner part of this box, of course, is pretty nice. They come in this pretty nice little travel case, but I will get to that here in a little bit. And here is the Richard Legrand warranty card that you will receive, guys. Pretty nice warranty card. Nothing too crazy. 26 to 20, So you have the model number, everything like that. Data purchase, the seller. I'll leave a link to their website down below, guys. Of course, there's a little booklet, a little instruction booklet. Nothing too crazy there. And it does come with these changing tools so you can change your strap and everything like that which is really nice option you have as this does come with two straps it comes on a bracelet and a proper strap as you'll see here shortly now i will put all this to the side here guys like i said pretty nice little package overall by richard legrand excuse me guys and again it's pretty nice little leather pouch I don't believe the original Odyssey came with something like this. Now, this one retails for about $389, and they come in about two or three different colors, I believe. This one is, uh, the one that I chose for the channel is a white dowel. This is a polar dowel. It kind of struck me. I, I, I kind of was drawn to the white dowel. I do believe they have a black dowel and a blue dowel. Don't, don't quote me if I'm wrong down there, guys. But I do believe those are all the options. And then here is a strap comes in a nice little comes with a nice little tropic strap that you can change do i haven't worn it on that yet so i can't really say as to the quality on this but it, it seems like it's pretty decent quality strap guys now here is the watch itself overall like i said i've been really impressed by this i've been wearing it for a, for a good bit now maybe about a week or so and it, is, it seems to be running to spec guys it is a high beat 9039 movement i believe they say it is on their website which I do believe just boils down to a Citizen Miyota movement. Now, again, these are $389 on their website. You can generally pick these up at a discount. This is a 120-click unidirectional bezel. This is a dive watch, and it is water resistant to 200 meters, guys. And again, this is the Polar White Dow Sapphire Crystal. Really clean indices, guys, and it does have pretty good loom. I'll show you the loom in here at the end of the video if you want to stick around for the loom shot, guys. I do kind of like the little red part right there with a red secondhand tip. It kind of sticks out there. 
And then I'll do like the three, six, nine, and twelve. They're really clean down. Of course, you know I am a no date kind of guy. So I do I do love the no date option on there. This is very um Blanc Pond esque, I would say, uh homage as to way the way it looks. Just personal opinion. You can see the beveled edges there on the uh bezel there, guys. Like I said, and it does seem to line up. And I will show you side by side, size wise, what it looks like next to my uh, Islander watch. This is a 40 millimeter watch, 20 millimeter lugs, and I do believe this bracelet tapers down to about 18 millimeters. This is a fairly nice bracelet that comes with it, guys. Not an overly thick watch for that Miata movement. And you can see the little symbol there, the little nautical symbol there with the little crest. Pretty cool, guys. 200 meter water resistant, nothing too crazy. Pretty, pretty detailed overall. The only thing I would say that is really negative on this watch is the clasp. They could have spent a little bit more time on it. But they did stamp their logo there. And again, the, these scratches are from me wearing it, guys. These will not come with scratches like that. That's not from Richard the Grand. I've been wearing my other work, guys. I've been getting some daily wear, putting it through his paces. And it's, it's held up pretty good, guys. Like I said, so far, really loving this watch. It may be a mainstay in my collection. It may stay in my collection. So we will see. And again, you see the screw down the crown at the 3 o'clock. I'll show you what it looks like next to the Islander for size comparison. I do have to resize the bracelet on it, by the way. I would say, overall, the bracelet isn't too bad. And here's what it looks like. It wears a little bit bigger than its stated 40 size, 40 millimeter size, guys. But overall, not too bad, guys. I will show you what it looks like on my 7.5 inch wrist. You see with the bracelet tapering down, I do need to take some links off. I may change out to that Tropic Strap at some point, but I, I'm really liking this bracelet. I've become more of a bracelet guy lately. I don't know what it is. But overall, my impressions on this is it's a really well quality built watch, especially for right under $400 mark, guys. And like I said, you can usually find discounts on these fairly regularly. I appreciate Richard Lagarian for letting me take a look at this and send this into the channel. And thanks again, guys. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, comment down below, and hit the notification bell as I do come out with videos on the uh, like these on the regular, guys. And uh, I will do a try to get a loom shot for you guys here if my phone cooperates here at the end of the uh, video. So you guys that have thankfully stuck around towards the end here, I appreciate you guys, my uh, hardcore viewers, for sticking around towards the end. I'll uh, let you guys take get take a look at the loom shot. Here is a little loom shot, guys. Nothing too crazy. It could do a little bit better. I shine the UV light on it. So you guys can take a look at that loom. That 12, 6, 9, and 3 really do pop, though. As well as do the indices and the hour, minute, and second hand. I do, I do like that little red tip on the second hand. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys for sticking around this long. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.